after Memorial Day, it hit and it started snowballing and we haven't stopped since. I know all new tonight. One Gadsden hospital is out of beds for COVID-19 patients in their critical care unit. This comes as coronavirus cases surge in northeast Alabama. That's right. The numbers across the board have been surging for weeks. Our Michael Clark live in Gadsden tonight after speaking to leaders at one hospital about what they're doing to bring those numbers down, Michael. Yeah, here at Riverview Regional Medical Center, staff members say the cases have really snowballed over the last month or so. And while they have the latest treatment methods to keep patients here, those beds are filling up fast. As we speak, we have no critical care beds available, but we're working to try to create eight more. As COVID-19 patients pile up at Gadsden Area Hospitals, doctors and staff are trying to keep up. We have two floors for our COVID patients, and then we also have a clean a critical care area for those patients who are sick but don't have COVID. Riverview Regional Medical Center is caring for more than 40 COVID-19 patients. It's one of the first in the area treating with convalescent plasma. Doctors are also using remdesivir, using every tool possible. We have stopped doing elective surgeries, elective procedures, so we can provide all the care to the sick patients who need in this community. Dr. KJ Shaw has been treating people in the area since the 80s and has never seen anything like the current wave they've handled in the past month. I'm so overwhelmed myself seeing people who come in, they are just very mild symptoms and within a few hours they are on a ventilator. Most seriously ill have pre-existing conditions or are elderly. EMA Director Deborah Gaither says there have already been 15 deaths in Etowah County and nursing homes are also being hit hard. We know that there's been um, a request made for um, nursing support staff to come in and help. Um, we're working around the clock. Gaither is asking for continued mask use and social distancing, especially at events like weddings and funerals. She says she never expected this kind of surge in Etowah County. We're listed as one of the um, top 11 counties in the state pertaining to COVID-19 cases. And you wouldn't think that's where we would be because we're not a, you know, metropolitan area. Now, Riverview hospital leaders tell me they haven't had to transfer a COVID-19 patient from here in the past month or so. And they want to keep it that way, but they need additional staff members coming up tonight at six o'clock. I'll tell you what they're doing to add more nurses here at the facility. That's in a report in about an hour. For now, reporting live outside of Riverview Regional Medical Center in Gadsden, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Michael, thank you.